Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I am very, very nervous for today's session. I would say I'm more nervous for today's session than I am for a 70.3 or an Ironman race. And that is because today is 3K all-out time trial. This is workout number 11. We've been working towards this. We've been doing lots of 3K pace, if you've been following along. And so now we're gonna see how accurate those training paces have been. And we're gonna run 3K all out. So um, for me, this is, this is definitely my weak point in my running, this, this kind of not too bad, you know, hold my own for short stuff. And then I love threshold stuff, but this like right in the middle, all out, you know, this pure VO2 max stuff, absolutely horrible. So um, really fearful of what's going to happen. I have a feeling I'm gonna blow up hard, but we're gonna go for it anyway. So. My PB is 845 from 2011, one of my oldest personal bests. That was indoors, so we probably adjust that a little bit and say it's like 840, 841, I believe is the, is the adjustment. So we're gonna target uh, a new 3K PB. And that would be, for me, that would be like really, really cool and you know show the success of the training we've done to run faster than I did back in 2011 in a race. So we'll check back in on the other side and see uh, if I puke. I got the track hack heavy. <laughs> really heavy. Alright. How'd it go? Horrible. <coughs> um, that is an absolutely dreadful distance in every way. This is why I hated track and field. Because it's horrible. Um, so we converted, you know, my PB is 845 on the indoor track, which is really prior to then. I can't really even remember when I ran a three 3K in high school. <coughs> Oh, I got the drag hack. Um, so we converted it and we say it's about 840 and we went 837, so. <coughs> really, really difficult workout. Hard to breathe. All right, so we're nearing the end of our training plan. Workout number 12 today. Workout 11 was uh, 3K all out. So 3K at 3K pace. Uh, really difficult, was unable to give a post, post-workout post interview. That's how difficult it was. Um, today is complete different gears. Complete 5K, because we're coming up now to the 5K time trial. So this one is completely 5K pacing. And so it's going to be four times one mile at bang on 5K pace, your goal pace with two minutes recovery. And so if your goal pace is realistic, then this shouldn't be too, too difficult. It should be number three and four should be a challenge. Um, but otherwise, this should be, you know, a modest workout and should give you quite a bit of confidence.
workout done. Um, uh, my pacing for my 5K PB is going to be extremely challenging. I can say that for certain. This workout was quite difficult. Uh, we went 445, 444, 444, uh, 441, and on two minutes recovery. Uh, pretty challenging. I mean, uh, what do you expect? You know, uh, 12 weeks of training, you want to break your 5K PB. It's, or, I'm sorry, 12, 12 workouts. Uh, it's six weeks of training. Uh, it's not going to be easy. I mean, you need time to, to uh, develop. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a very difficult goal to achieve. But I think on the day, tapered uh, with some motivation, I think we can get close. So we're going to find out soon. I think one more workout, one more kind of activation workout, and then we're going to go for it. It's time to, it's time to to get back to pure tri training. So we got to wrap up some of these goals. So enjoy workouts 11 and 12. All right, all good things must come to an end. And so we've reached the end of the training plan. The final workout, unfortunately, we didn't have time to film it because we had to hop in the car real quick and head to Milton for my final velodrome training session. But it was six times 400 at, or maybe slightly faster than 5K goal pace with 45 seconds recovery and then finish off with an 800 at goal pace should feel decently well if you're going to hold it for the full 5k and, and in my case it definitely was a confidence boost i was under pace for all of them and that was trying to, to trying to run the pace um, so next up just a little rest maybe three four days recovery listen to your body and then we're gonna do the 5K time trial. And so that's what uh, I'm, I'll be doing tomorrow. I'll be targeting 14.45 pace. Originally I thought maybe I'd be able to target 14.35 pace, but then I did that 3K time trial and was greatly humbled. And so I've decided to be a little more conservative and go 14.45, which would give me a seven second PB for my 5K. So should be fun. It's been a, it's been a, a fun journey, a quick journey. I wish I had more time, but it's time to, to start the, the concentrated Daytona preparations. So we have to wrap up some of these, these kind of side projects and get back particularly to hard swimming. So um, enjoy and we'll check back in for the 5K in a couple days.